Let's do a Faber report. Why not? Uh, let's talk a bit about Athena Health this morning. You may recall last week, I think it was, we, there was some uh, various reporting on a process that Athena had begun some time ago to potentially sell itself. This after, if you want to go back, of course, to the spring, when was it? Uh, May, mid-May, when uh, Elliott, 9% shareholder, basically said, we'd like to buy you for 160 bucks a share. Uh, and that did have the purpose of putting the company in play. Its longtime CEO, founder Jonathan Bush, has left the scene. Jeff Immelt remains, of course, as the company's executive chairman. What can we tell you right now? Because bids were due last night, uh, and they came in. Bids did come in, but don't get too excited. Uh, they did not come in at a level that necessarily points to anything close to 160 bucks a share, at least from what I am hearing from people familiar with the situation. That said, it does appear that at least three bids were received, uh, at least two from private equity, uh, one from an unknown strategic, still haven't been able to find it, although I don't believe it is uh, amongst the different rumored names that have been out there. It may be a name that, that's somewhat unexpected, but frankly, I don't know. Um, there is confidence, it would appear at this point, that the process is going to lead to a successful conclusion and that the board is poised to sell this company. The question, of course, is at what price? Now, the presence of three potential bidders certainly would seem to augur for an ability to get a price higher than the market, although at this point, at least from what I am told, there is an expectation that many of the bids may not have come in too far above where we are. Why? It's interesting, of course. You would note, Elliot said 160, then they do due diligence, and they're obviously no longer at 160 with the bid that they had made. Don't know what the numbers are again there. So where we are right now is the beginning of what will be a, a fairly short process here as they sort through three bids, at least, uh, from one strategic, two PE firms. That's the best I can tell you right now. The hope, of course, is to receive a number that at the end that will be a significant premium to where we are now, though it's from the indications I've received from people familiar with the situation, it doesn't appear the bids are particularly or a lot higher than the current uh, uh, rough market value, which, by the way, has come down on expectations that the company would not. Uh, receive anywhere near the 160 that was originally indicated by Elliot. If Jim were here, we'd talk about it. I don't know if he's over there still. Otherwise, yeah. we can just leave it. Oh, there well, he is. Would I go? He's still there. Where would I go? Uh, uh, to a I don't know. I, I usually, I'm usually used to I'm, turning to you after I do a favor report, so I'm turning well, to you now. I was going to ask you something that would be typical, but you'd ask me. David, the only real exec that I think could have possibly been behind a lot of the stuff that's going on would be the chairman who might, it, 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 Jeff Immel. Uh, and I actually am not kidding around here, Jeff, I, D David. Jeff Immel, uh, I think, did not do that much to promote what is a really good story, uh, which is a story about databases that could change the way we pay doctors. The government needs their data to be able to decide whether what, uh, how much is a literally a heart transplant in one place versus another how much is the standard care for an elbow for a shoulder their database is so good i find this somewhat shocking it was a company that had huge information flow i think to some degree right. could even give united health a run and nobody wants it now i or the, the well, bids are terrible this is well, shocking the, the, i'd like to like the, jeff to come on and talk about it yeah, the, well, I don't think that's going to happen, as you know. Listen, the bids are there. I think there have been a lot of people who doubted, in fact, whether they get any. And the fact that they do have three bids at least coming in, Jim, is, is a positive, as is what appears to be the board's willingness to work through them to get to a conclusion here, which will result in a sale. But, Jim, you're right. I think a lot of people don't believe the company properly executed for quite some time. And so it is going to be a turnaround. Uh, if they were to stay independent, but more likely whom, for whomever is the potential buyer of this asset. I, I've, I'm kind of shocked here. I felt that it was a great asset that was run, being run into the ground by, by uh, Jonathan Bush. Uh, now I'm questioning the asset, because while you said absolutely there are some buyers, uh, the, the idea I felt that Elliott was opening bid for what can be an amazing company, for a lot of different H, uh, HMOs needed. Take a look at, at what Cigna is willing to play for Scratch Scripps, which is a great company. The mergers that are in the healthcare field have all been at premiums. What's going on at this company? i got to find out because a lot of people felt this was the only thing wrong with this company was Jonathan Bush. Obviously, that's no longer the case. Yeah, well, we'll be watching it in the days ahead and try and bring people more details as we get them.